Hey everyone, Mr. Mo here. Welcome to session four of the Droid Programming Lab. Now today is competition day. So hopefully you got pretty good in the last session and learning how to program the Sphero Minis because you're gonna use those skills today. So what is our competition? Well, let's take a look at the handout. So here's our competition guidelines, all right? So here on the left, you'll see all the materials you'll need. And then here's the important piece, our competition course. And you'll notice that the links here shown are actually half of what they were in the last session, okay, in session three. So it's a smaller course, so be, it should be easier to build, faster to build, um, uh, but also each team will be making their own course. So we'll have at the most th three of these in the classroom, okay, and that's one of the reasons why we made it a little bit smaller, okay. So what do you have to do to win, all right? So first of all, each team will have 10 minutes uh, after this video to go ahead and build your course okay so here here are the dimensions that you'll need so it'll be just like last session except the distances here have changed okay and so after 10 minutes your coach will give you 30 minutes from when they say go to actually program your droid to get through the course that you just built all right and so how do you get points so um, the team that actually gets through gets their droid through first with a program and they get a point Okay, so the only one team will get a point there, all right? And okay, and then after 30 minutes though, if more than one team has gone through, then the team with the fastest clock time for their droid to go from start to finish will get a point, okay? So the may be two different teams that, that get through it first versus the team that gets through it the fastest, okay? Um, and so that may mean that you have a, a tie there, okay? Where two different teams have a point. And so, and if that's the case, then that's when the third bullet comes into place here, okay? So, if the score is tied after the first two factors, then the team with the least amount of code or few, fewest blocks of code will be the winner, okay? So, um, after these first two are taken into account, if you have, uh, if teams are tied, then you have to use this final piece right here, the fewest lines of code so really the whole goal is to be efficient and quick okay as quick as possible so quick programming and also quick to get through the course okay your droid so that means you, you may want to use a faster speed um, you may want to use less delays in between your blocks and so that's something you'll have to figure out as a team okay because um, remember when the faster you go sometimes uh, you get less control okay so you'll have to kind of balance that all right so you want to get through the course, you want to program it as fast as you can, and then you want to make your droid get through it as fast as you can, okay? So these are all things you have to keep in mind when you're creating your program. And finally, if no team completes the course, which is rare, then the team that gets the furthest along through the course will be the winner, okay? So for instance, one team may only get to this point right here, and another team may get here, and then finally you have a team that gets all the way down here, okay? Um, and then the team, so the team that gets further along the course, closest to the finish line, will then be the winner. That's if no one gets through it, okay? So that's the competition. Uh, those are the guidelines. Good luck. Uh, remember, the main point is to be as quick and as, as efficient as possible. And there you have it. Those are the rules of the competition. So make sure that you first lay out the courses uh, as stated in the handout before you start actually programming, okay? And then remember, you get points for completing certain portions of the competition. And at the end, the team that's left standing is the winner. And as always, remember this competition is just for fun, so don't take it too personally, okay? So the real important piece is that you're learning something and is that you're working in groups and that you're uh, getting used to actually working with each other. And so coaches and kids, it was great having you. Once you complete the competition, that'll be the end of this session and actually the end of the lab. So hopefully you learned a lot about robots, AKA droids, about programming and how to work together in groups. Really enjoyed having you for this lab. I'll see you in the next lab.